Hello, my name is Matan, and in this video we're going to go over the initial system configuration. We'll go over how to connect to the controller, setting up our motor parameters, position protections, etc. And we'll be using a linear XY demo station using our own DRV01. First thing we're going to do is connect to the controller. You can do that either with auto connect, discover connections and connect. I'm connected to it with an ethernet cable. or choose the appropriate line from this drop-down menu. I'm connected with an Ethernet cable to an AG300 CTL01. Just click on that and we're connected. Next thing we're, we're going to do is go to the Config tab down here and press on CFG, Configurations. Here we can choose the Operation Mode, Amplifier Type, Power Supply, and if we need them, Static Brake, Dynamic Brake, and Regeneration. In the Operation Mode, I'm going to stick to Position Control because you can change that later. In the amplifier type, I'm using a DRV product, our own amplifier. If you're using an external amplifier, you can do that, choose that here. And for power supply, I'm going to stick with low DC. To make the changes take effect, we're going to need to apply. So you can either click apply all, press enter, or just apply next. Now we're in the motor tab. Uh, here we choose the motor type. I'm using a voice coil, but depending on which motor type you choose, you'll need to fill out some more parameters. So I'm going to do voice coil and press enter and next. Now we're in the feedback tab. Here we choose the encoder type. So I'm using an incremental encoder with an A quad B output. You can also change the resolution if we choose if you want to invert direction or not. And if you're not sure about a certain parameter, you can always put your cursor over the tab and a tooltip will show up with an explanation. Apply next. Now we're in the position tab. Here you define all the position, velocity, and also acceleration protections. So these are the position limits, uh, maximum allowed velocity and acceleration, maximum allowed errors in position and velocity, and also in open loop, if you're in open loop or maybe injection mode and you want to define different uh, position and velocity errors, you can also do that here. And here you also define the motor stuck parameters. Now we're going to go to the power protections. Here you define your continuous uh, current, your peak current, maximum allowed motor current, etc. And also your bus voltage protections. You can always, like I said before, check the tooltip to see, to find out exactly what that means. And also PWM limitations. Apply in next. Now we're in the discrete configuration tab. And here we define all the discrete inputs and outputs. Let's take, for example, the first discrete input. We can also reverse the logic. Enter to apply. And we have all of these modes. These modes are detailed in the help tab in documents. All you have to do is search for the keyword DN mode and there you'll find all the details for all of these modes. And we can also decide which axis this applies to. Now we're in the analog IO configuration tab. Here we can configure our analog inputs and outputs. For example, we can choose different input modes. We can apply first order filters, offsets, deadband, and gains. Also mute range. For more detail, just read the tooltip. And here we have the final filtered reading. To get the unfiltered reading, you can just go to help docs and look for the keyword A import. Next, we're going to go to the communications tab. Here we don't usually need to change anything. Just know you can change if you need to. Apply next. In the last tab of the configuration tab, we have additional configurations which include configurations such as dual loop and Hall effect sensors, etc. And that concludes our initial configuration setup. In the next video, we'll tune our controller and motor parameters and start moving some motors.